Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines and today I have yet another treat. We have another game changing mod added to the City Skylines workshop by Bloody Penguin. Now if you guys don't know who Bloody Penguin is, firstly where have you been and secondly he has been doing some outstanding mods for the community with the likes of building themes, extra landscaping tools, prop and tree anarchy, force level up, probable reco, key anarchy, network nodes, boat pack, surface painter and many many more and this prop snapping has been an absolutely amazing addition to his collection. So in dedication for Bloody Penguin I wanted to do a quick video just to give you an overview of this new mod and what you can do with it really. So the mod itself is extremely easy to use, all you need to do is click the asset you want to place on the building, drag the mouse over the top of the building and as the contour of the, of the building rises so does the actual prop. So as you can see me doing so took literally seconds and that's what makes this mod absolutely amazing. Again for people like myself who are heavy detailers this will make our life a hell of a lot easier. Some props, as you can see here, I was looking to try and put a solar panel on top of this roof. Some props don't quite work, and that's got nothing to do with the mod itself. That's just to, that's just how the mod's been created at this angle. We can't rotate the angle of the actual prop itself, only the left to right angle. Now, one thing I did also realise you can do is, with the use of both prop snapping, as we're doing here, and the Move It mods to bring the actual asset down, you can create a much more customized feel. So I felt that this antenna is a little bit too high and I used the move it mod and the page down button to bring it a little bit closer down to the building to make it look a lot more realistic in my opinion. So that's a great combination between the two. It's definitely worth going for the move it mod as well. And you can check out a video on my overview on that at the link below. So again, this is demonstrated with this satellite dish where I've used the prop snapping tool to get it onto the roof and now I'm just doing a few minor tweaks with the move it mod pressing page down to bring it closer into the building itself. So moving over to some of the more industrial areas and commercial zones we can now place on the roofs the ventilation systems and to be honest I've literally found this working perfectly. There's been the odd building where perhaps the shape of the building doesn't quite allow the um, prop to sit flat but pretty much all the time I found this to work perfectly well and yeah it just makes life a lot easier and allows you to detail above the ground level as well as below. So again just showing what else we can do here we can add some fire alarms to anywhere any height we want by just moving the cursor and the prop higher or lower or further into the building in this case is how it actually works um, so we can do that we can add signs as well obviously be careful with which advertisement sign you put as you can see this one here props out the wall a little bit but that's because of the design of the actual asset it has a bar on the back as you can see a little bit clearer here and if you want to go a little bit crazy you can add some vehicles on roofs but I'm doing this to clearly demonstrate the addition of using the move it tool alongside the prop snapping so placing this van here you can see it's a little bit off the ground so using the move it tool we'll page down so we're pretty much flat on the building so there we have it another outstanding mod for the workshop so a big thank you to bloody penguin for making our detailing life a lot easier and thanks for watching as always guys Check out my other videos and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. All the best.